Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Strongest Warrior. Uh, so we finally got enough to upgrade this level 31. We just uh, upgrade all these passive abilities. Right. See if we can't max it out and upgrade again. Given decent power levels. I uh, know we got it to 32. Yep, upgrade it some more. And I found out what these little talismans are for. You know, when you get these rocks, I don't know what they're called. Anyway, you take that bottom thing there and then use it, and you won't go down a level if it fails. So it's like prevention. It's kind of cool. Anyway. Also been working hard on upgrading all these characters to the blue star so I can finally go up another level in this. Now I've got them all to 5,000 which is good, it's a good bonus. Now I've got to work on getting everyone on a purple star and saving up more of these, I don't know what you want to call them, stones. And finally I've been grinding every day. We can finally buy Super Saiyan Man Gohan. Nice power level boost straight up. So even if I don't end up using him, still a good power level boost. Ah, uh, squipped him. See what he can do. Teleport. Super Saiyan Rage. He also does this if you leave him standing still for too long. <laughs> Which is great. Anyway, back to seriousness for training him. Now, obviously, it's not going to be as great as the other ones because they're all gold star in this one. I've only got him not even upper star yet. He's level 50, I think. So I've got to put him up. I might just end up um, doing the transfer and giving him the gold stars from Android 18 because I don't use her anymore. And then we'll really see what he can do in PvP on another day. But I mean, like, he's very strong, very agile. And look at this. That is insane. His ability also charges pretty quick, kind of like uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta. So they make a good team. I'm not really sure what his bonus would be from using his ability bar, but we'll, we'll learn as we go along. That's sick, but I just... Check this out. I can't wait to use that in my... You know and do the large group PvPs? <laughs> I'm just raining on people. He might even be good as a support just for this. Like, look, that is really strong. That's pretty good. He also might end up being one of the best PvP players because uh, he can dodge. He can do mass amounts of unescapable damage. And I think once I get him up to gold stars, he's, he's going to be extremely strong. Obviously, he's not going to have Gotenks level freaky strength. But he's still extremely strong. And obviously, you also see his cooldowns are a lot longer too. But, uh, so a Super Saiyan Vegeta, so I guess it's, it can't be too bad. I can't wait to try him out in PvP. Uh, 
Uh, so I just went and found him up to at least green star. So we're just going to apply that real quick. And then I'm going to test him out against bots to see what he can do at this level. Not bad. So yeah, he might end up being a better support player, to be honest. Like, because uh, Go Tanks would have smashed through this by now. Let's just save that special for the next one. We don't need to waste it. Ah. This is incredibly good on element advantage, which is good. But still not not near the strength of Go Tanks. So maybe he's gonna be a support player. Uh thanks for watching.